Hi, I'm Reverend Katie Norris, and in today's video, you're going to see a recipe from Creative Connections and Dementia Care, engaging activities to enhance communication, and I'm going to be working with Bob and Luann. Bob has dementia, and Luann is his care partner. And you're going to see different ways that, um, as I work with Bob, I learn to modify the recipe and present it to him in an accessible manner. So let's get started. All right, so Bob, before we get started with our art project, uh -huh. we're going to fill out a little form that says how we are feeling today. Which face looks most like you? Unhappy, neutral, or happy? Uh, I'm not, I'm not ha happy right now. All right, so the neutral yeah. one? Yeah. All right, that mm -hmm. sounds good. So we are going to pick our first color that we're gonna use. Bob, mm -hmm. would you like blue or green? Green. Green? And then we're just gonna paint our paper, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can, if you would like to follow me and put yours on the paper here. Okay. All right, and we're just gonna roll across. So do we feel like we have our papers covered as we like them, or would you like a little bit more? Your do you wanna? Thoughts? My thoughts is whatever you would like is great. Oh, okay. No, I think I, that, that'll, be, that'll be good. All right, great. So I'm gonna clear all our stuff that we have right now and get mm -hmm. our paint for our next part. Bob, you and I had green paper here. Yeah. And, but then we painted our paper green. Mm -hmm. And so it was hard to see the green painted paper on a green placemat. Yeah. So I switched it out to red. Now we have our second set of supplies and the first thing that we are going to use is our paintbrush. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to pick up your paintbrush. Okay. All right, and we're gonna dip it in the first color on our plate, so that's gonna be your red one. Okay. And you just dip it in and get a whole bunch on there like that. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Anywhere you would like. Great. And then, since we need a lot of paint every time we do mm -hmm. this, we're gonna dip it in again. And then, and then for this dot, if you take your brush and you just press it down like that and lift yeah. up, see how that works. Okay. Yep, and then lift up. Perfect. So we're gonna take these cards. So I'm gonna give you a card. Mm -hmm. It was an old gift Thank card. You. I know, <laughs> there's nothing on it anymore. So now we're gonna make it all messy with paint. All right, so Bob, you're gonna take your card in your hand. Mm -hmm. And so here you can take this one. Oh, okay. All right, so you're gonna do the same thing that I do. So where your red eye is, mm -hmm. you're gonna wipe it. Like you okay. spackle a oh, okay. drywall. Uh -huh. So you're gonna pick up your card. Yeah. And on your red, you're yeah. gonna swipe it. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then we're gonna do that again on all the rest of the red parts. So anywhere there's red, you wipe it like that. So we're gonna use the same paintbrush, and I know it has red paint on it, but that's mm -hmm. okay. And now we're gonna put it in our yellow paint. Okay. All right, so you're gonna pick up your paintbrush and put it in your yellow paint. Get a whole bunch on there, make a dot. And you can overlap colors and do whatever you want. Hmm. And this we can do as many times as we want. All right. We're gonna pick up our card, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna give this one to you. Okay. All right, and so on the yellow, yeah. we're gonna go like this, wipe your card across the yellow. So you can take your card and wipe across the yellow right there. I noticed when I was working with Bob, a couple things, it's totally fine, even though I'm making dots, that Bob does lines. And when I do the swiping, I'm gonna move the plate away because it's distracting. And I'm going to do the swiping more, um, just kind of free form, because Bob was able to follow that a little bit better and see if that works just as well. So we're gonna move on to our white paint now. So, let's see, here's your white. Sometimes, if I know the paint color needs to be spread out a little, I 
cue and guide Bob more by pointing exactly to where he should put some more paint. I am going to pick up my card and swipe it on my paper. And would you like to do that on yours? Pick up your card and swipe it. Okay. That's gorgeous. That looks Bob. awesome. Huh? <laughs> that looks so it's cool. So cool. <laughs> Good job, babe. All right. Do you like it or is there anything else you'd like to do to it? Huh? Is it all right the way it is? Yeah. I all like right. It. I like it too. Mm -hmm. So then we're all done. You and I use the same colors, mm -hmm. but we both did them a little bit differently, right? Mm -hmm. And yours came out more with the line. It's yeah. gorgeous. And then I do like all these little tiny kind of swirls mm -hmm. and I get this effect. And then Luann does bigger swirls and gets a uh, larger, almost like a fan effect with her card. There are a few things that I noticed working with Bob because I haven't seen him in about six months and this is the first time we've done this project. Bob follows direction much better if I just do it and he follows me, which is a very common Montessori technique where a teacher will present the Montessori activity in complete silence and then the kids go and do the same thing. And so that works really well with Bob. And so as you get to know the person that you're working with better, it's always the biggest thing with Montessori is that you need to know the individual person. Every time I do this art project with him, now I know how to modify it to make it more accessible to him. And Luann had a few words about what she likes too, about doing the projects together. I just love at the end, I mean, cause in the middle of the project, I'm really engrossed in what I'm doing, which, which is great fun. But then at the end, looking at what everybody did, they're always completely different, even though we had the same steps, the same materials. And so there's a wonderful discovery at the end. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do some art again sometime? Sure. Okay, great. All right. And actually, Luann, would you feel comfortable after um, having done this all together if you did this at home with Bob sometime? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How are you feeling now? Which one looks like you? Unhappy, neutral, or happy? I am thinking happy. All right. One of the reasons we fill out this form is to see if there's a change. And so uh, when we started the project, Bob said neutral that he was feeling, and then afterwards he was happy. And a lot of people wonder how you evaluate if art works or what it does for someone with dementia, and we always say we evaluate it by smiles. So if you are happy at the end, then it's been a beneficial time together. Thank you for watching today. We hope that you found this video helpful. For more information about the Carolyn L. Farrell Foundation for Brain Health, please go to our website, www.farrellfoundation.com.